Thầy gọi lấy vui Thầy gọi lấy Thầy gọi lấy Norfolk Boy here, keep on a trash, and uh, here's my next video of actually putting together my own version of a signal box. So let me see if I can get all of these up here. There we go. Okay, so first of all, I printed all the bits and pieces out that I need. So first of all, I got some of this uh, transparent um, film, I suppose you call it, but printable stuff. As you can see, I printed out the windows on this, but you can see they're not very... They're not very bright. Um, I picked the wrong colour really there with the windows. So um, I did darken them slightly and they've come out a little bit better as you can see there. So that's a little bit better. So that was my first mistake I made, that's for sure. Um, I'll just put that aside. Uh, here's the, uh, the main building itself. And here's the other part that I want. And I've put here that I need to cut across this line. So it'll be the first job is to cut across this line so that this is separate from that. And then we can move on to actually sticking both of the rest of it onto a one millimeter craft card like this. I mean, this stuff and that uh, film is, is really cheap when you look about on eBay. So, you know, none of this is, is hugely expensive. Uh, of course, the ink for your printer normally is, but there we are. Um, my ink cartridges that I used for this were uh, were it was in an HP printer, which is my printer, and to be honest, they weren't the real McCoy HPs. That's for sure because they're way too expensive. Uh, but they didn't do a bad job of printing this out. Anyway, the first things first really is to cut that first, or not the first, but the second sheet across the middle. Uh, also, one of the mistakes I made after I printed it out is I wanted this door on on this one and then this bit so just cut out so that the door sat behind it I can still do that anyway without having to print it all out again and wasted more ink but I'll put that right now in the actual the actual document well not document but um, project that uh, I created in Affinity Design which I'm using now instead of Adobe uh, what was I using before Adobe Illustrator um, way too expensive, way, 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 way too expensive. Want too much money a month for 20 odd quid a month to use that piece of software. Um, and along comes um, the Infinity Designer. Uh, and it was £23.50, should have been 40 something, but I think because of all this uh, coronavirus malarkey, um, they sold it a bit cheaper. They knocked, knocked a load of money off it. Um, but to be honest, it was only 40 odd quid in the first place and I paid 23 and it's a fantastic piece of software. Just as good as Adobe Illustrator, if not better, for doing these kind of designs. So I put a link, or I will put a link in this video as well, but a li link in the last one as well. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I'm just going to use scissors for this. So, uh, obviously, I'm simply just going to cut down the middle here. Doesn't have to be particularly straight because the way I've designed this model, I'm hoping that uh, this bit will maybe need them to go on card, but this piece will be much better as it is. Explain as I go along. So that's magic. I need to put this aside and the transparent part aside. And then that leaves me with these two and these two pieces of card. Um, so again, I think I've done in one of my other videos. Oh, by the way, before I go any further, the actual steps have been 3D printed. These are the steps that I'll use for the side for going up to the door. And I may well have to make some more railings yet. It needs a little bit of a clean up, maybe a paint, but that's where my 3D printer came in rather handy. If this kit comes out, all right, I might, I might actually put it on eBay, really cheap sort of price for somebody who wants to build it. It all depends first though, how it comes out. And when it is finished and you get a look at the finished product, I would like 
hopefully to get some comments on whether you think it's any good or not that'd be great right okay all right so we want a piece of card we'll do the big bit first now before i used um print stick and i'm going to use it again uh, but i'm going to leave it to dry pretty well and i'm going to use plenty of it so okay so print stick let's get the lid off this thing Okay, and here we go. Let's get plenty of this stuff on this card, certainly around the edges to begin with. And then give it a right old going. So when you use this stuff, you can see that it doesn't go on nice and neat and tidy kind of thing. It's high spots and low spots. So first things first, I'm gonna run, oops whole thing around just to get plenty on and then if I think there's a little bit too lumpy somewhere I'll just um, push it down with my finger well, I don't know I, don't, I, don't think, I think that's all right actually uh, right before I get hold of my card again a nice little tip is to have some sort of cloth or something whoops with you my battery's getting low on the phone Right, okay. And just pop that on. Top. And then firmly press it all down. Lovely job. I'll do that with the other bit and then uh, I'll come back in the video with the next stage. But there we are. That will certainly need to dry for a good while before I can start hacking and cutting it. So um, I shall now put that aside and let it dry whilst doing the other and then move on to the next stage. OK, so I'm going to um, begin to cut these sections out. Obviously, I'm going to cut around the outsides of them first, uh, each individual piece. And then I'll well, as a matter of fact, no, I won't actually. I think I'll actually cut the windows out first because I think it would be better to do that while I've not cut out the main parts um, the reason is that it, it strengthens the whole thing a bit more so yep that's what I'm going to do first I'm going to cut these out all these individual things also that's got to be cut out I just haven't put cut out instructions on it which is very bad very bad indeed oh yes 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 and um, yeah yeah let's get on with it let's be cutting out some stuff this could take a while I'm not going to video it so uh, when I've done all of the pieces, I'll be back. Okay, so I've just cut my first pieces out. I cut the windows out and then I cut the um, the building part of it out. Now this one um, went pretty well, although when I looked at this bit, I thought, yeah, that's pretty close. You know, that's very thin, so you have to be very careful when um, cutting this out. So, uh, but anyway, it, it, it kind of worked. But this one... I said I'd show mistakes. I need to go back to the drawing board because it was way too thin here, even though that's what it's like in the actual picture that I followed. You know, I need to make some kind of adjustment there because that's ridiculous and it's made it too thin. It's come apart and I also made a mistake by cutting down the wrong line here and got too close to the door. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board and change this slightly because this is a little bit um, a little bit wrong. Um, but the other piece seemed to have worked okay. So um, I think what I need to do now is just check to see how well it's going to work when I, I slightly school down here so that it can bend because there's going to be possibly another bit of a problem there. I don't know. I'm going to have to try that out right now. Okay, so I've now solved that problem by making um, the actual columns on the edges a little bit bigger, as they can be on ordinary buildings. So that's what I've done. Hopefully that'll, uh, I might even make it look like they've got extra pieces of wood in the edges, but I can do that later. But anyway, I'm gonna have to cut out my piece again that went wrong, which is a piece here. And of course I've got to stick it on the card first and let it dry and then I can move on and carry on with what I was doing. So onwards and upwards. Just for an experiment, I thought, right, I'll print out my next one. This time I've cut it in advance before I put it on the card. I mean, that might be another way of um, doing things really. 
um, you know, I'd still have to cut through the card, but um, this bit, particularly a thin piece of card, has already been cut through that the actual printout's on, so um, I don't know, that, that might help um, give you a little bit of a cleaner edge. I'm not really sure, but this is the way that I can experiment with that one. So um, I've cut them out first. Now I'll glue it to this piece of card, which I cut off the other piece uh, as to save on card, really. But So there we go. I said I'd show all the mistakes. So that was a really crap one. Uh, <laughs> I've since adjusted it. I'm going to keep this piece, although the next one that will be built will be much better because it's been sorted. Uh, but I don't want to waste it. That's okay. That's not done too bad. So I'm now going to do this one and, and then we can move on to the next bit which we'll be putting in the windows and the door. So um, yeah, so moving on. Okay, so um, I did it in a bit of a hurry because I couldn't wait for the glue to dry. So, but there's faces going across there, so it doesn't really matter. I caught it a little bit there. But anyway, um, cut that piece out. It was a little bit easier to cut um, the windows and the doors out. Whether that uh, is any neater though is, an, is another matter. But then again, the more time you take over these things, the neater you can get. Right, okay, so um, now I've done that, my next bit is, and I had to um, redo the windows a touch, because now they'll be different too, in size for some of those ones that I made uh, smaller. So um, I'm gonna cut those out and then see how well they go being placed behind the window frames. So let's give it a okay, go. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on this first window and then try it out. Um, I've decided that these things um, that I bought are absolutely fantastic till you've had them for a while and then these block up, the pins in them get rusty and you end up stuff throwing out crap. So um, I've kind of gone off the idea of those really. I'm going to just use a brush for now um, just to, so I can dab a little bit um, around the edges here. Uh, getting it too much all over the place. You know, those, um, there you go. I mean, the, these things are okay, but they all pour out and get stringy and too much goes on. So I'll try a brush uh, and a piece of tissue to keep wiping it with. It's only an old brush, so it's not gonna do any harm. And here we go. Just sit that over the first window. Tap down. And then voila, there's my first window in. So I'll now do all of the rest. Just a little tip with these windows here is they do have um, the big larger windows at the top, smaller ones at the bottom. Although it doesn't matter which way you'd have them round really in all fairness. Um, but whichever way you put them in, make sure you put them all in the same way as you go along. Otherwise they might look a little bit silly. But other than that, um, yeah, let's move on. Also, when I printed out these windows, I only printed out one set of them. Um, that's a bit daft when I've got a huge A4 piece um, that I probably wouldn't be able to put through the printer again anyway. So it probably would have been a much better idea, which was another mistake I made, was to put the you know, a few more versions of it on there. And then if you mess one window up, you can pull it off and use another. Just a good point, I think, to myself. Okay, so after ironing out a few problems, as you know, I now have fitted all the windows, glass windows, and put the fascias on. Cut those out, put the fascias on. So the next bit is I've cut the floor out, and I'm hoping that I've made that exactly the right size for it all to go round. So we shall see. <laughs> So let's first of all test it out. Um, got it just sitting that around there like that now. This should sit around like that. Uh, here's another slight problem I've just found. Making these card kits is not as easy as it looks is that now where the door is in there, it'll need a little piece cut out. So I'm gonna to have to do that on the actual design around about there so that it doesn't catch and goes around it and sits tight. So silly me, another mistake that I made when I uh, 
you know, designed this thing, so I'm going to have to do that now. Oh dear. So I'll just, uh, I'll just mark that. There and there should do the trick, and then just from my blade. Whoops, not too hard. Across there. So we can take a little nick out there. That's it, and then that should sit in there quite nicely. Okay, that solved that problem, so moving on. Run some glue along there, along this edge as best I can, and then uh, stick the first part of floor in. Okay, so um, pretty, pretty good so far. Fairly decent bit of success there, with the floors just slightly too small, so we'll have to make that a little bit bigger. However, all in all, it seems to um, be going quite well. So there we are, we now have a little bit of a structure of our building, our signal box. So the next part will be to um, place the other piece of uh, side bits, uh, side support walls in and, and so on and so forth. And then the, uh, the actual roof on top. But anyway, so far so good. So. You know, things ain't too bad. One thing I did forget was to make a kind of little dot on the door to, for a door handle. Uh, I did do one on the bottom. Well, that didn't really matter for the bottom, but that one anyway at the top. So I will have to do something about that. But so far, not too bad. Not for a prototype. When you um, design these things, well, I guess it all depends how brainy you are. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, there's things you don't, you, you miss and you make a mistake. Obviously prototypes of, you know, what you need to, you need to try them out and any mistakes that you can find along the way, uh, then you then put right. But, uh, you know, not everybody's going to design their own buildings. This is just what I decided to do. Uh, it's a challenge, but uh, I'm enjoying it so far. So anyway, let's move on. So when I thought about these side supports, I was hoping that they would sit there, which they will do. Uh, slightly about one millimeter down for this roof support to go on. Um, I made them both the same size, but this side's going to have to be a lot smaller because of the door. But still, I've made that now half size, which I'll do on the actual kit itself later as I'm writing all these mistakes down. So I can now glue these two in place, which will give us something to sit the roof support on. So. Let's go. Okay, so the idea of this um, roof support is to sit in here, and as I said, I do need to make this floor and roof support a little bit slightly bigger, but still, nonetheless, it'll sit in there and kind of keep the structure strong. But before I do that, I'm gonna um, have a look on the internet and see if I can get a picture of inside a signal box and try and find the picture so that I can sit it somewhere in here along the back maybe or something like that so when you look through the window it kind of looks like there's uh, something going on inside um, I feel like I need to do that because if I light it up and then all you'll see is the insides like a lot of these card buildings so um, yeah you know just the walls the card walls so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to go and find myself a picture to try and sit along the back to kind of make it look a little bit more like what it is so okay okay so I've uh, printed myself out a picture and I've designed it I'll show you in a minute but as it sits there in the background oh, just get it into the picture there it now looks like there's um, all the levers that you'd find in a signal box and so I've done it this way so that it just sits I've done it on thin card but you could make it a bit thicker if you wanted to I suppose so it don't warp too much but I've done it like that so we can put a little bit of glue on there, a little bit of glue on there and then get it in there somehow hopefully without touching any of the windows and then just sit it into the side there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I've got some glue on that tab and that tab. I'm just going to go in that way, away from the windows if I can. And turn inwards roughly where I want it. Side 
it's a bit just trying to get it in place really once it starts to stick that'll be job done could have done with a bit stiffer card I think whatever your preference will be just need to go back just behind that there window that's where it wants to be so I'm just gonna hold it there for a minute because it, you can't see it through that window you can't see it through that window you can see it through the front windows though so that's grand right I shall leave that to dry so I've done it so it's just the right level there and there for this top support to go on so if I now glue that into place by putting a little bit of glue across the top there and a little bit of glue across there and then drop it in um, that should then keep it all nice and tidy inside so I might I might still light this up um, but it doesn't really matter I can always drill a hole through the bottom to get a bulb in if I decide to do that I could have done it in, um, in advance but there you go uh, I'm just going to drop this roof bit into place I think that's sitting on there and sitting on that one so all in all we should be okay now if I can just hold that up to the camera without getting too much reflection you know, hopefully you can see that it now looks like there's something going on inside the, the signal box simple really simple but effective so before I do um, next bit I'm gonna do the roof uh, the side bit so I'm gonna do the roof I'm gonna give this a little score down the middle Like so, it should just hit that bend in the right place. Then the next bit is to see if it fits. And there's my next mistake. That um, my measuring, which is always a, the hard part when you're doing these uh, these things, that's slightly too small. So. Back to the drawing board to make that roof a little bit bigger and uh, and hang over slightly. Uh, probably just went by um, the measurements between there and there and didn't realise that obviously I need another at least couple of millimetres each side if not more. So it kind of hangs over like that. Kind of makes it look more, more realistic that way anyway. So back to the drawing board and moving on to the next bit. I said I'd put in all the mistakes. This is how quite hard it is to design one of these things as there's so many things to think about and so many things you can go wrong with but anyway that's the whole point of doing the video but it's all good fun nonetheless so okay let's sort out the roof and make that a bit bigger so I've made my roof bigger and placed it on top and now as we can see along the top here we have the slight gap where it has been bent I've used old card instead of the card that I need before I had before just to make things a bit quicker and move on any old ways up now I need to cut the coving which I've had to print out again obviously because it was all wrong but so this one's a, a brand new print out because there was things that were wrong that I've now put right so I'm going to go ahead and cut this coving out which goes across the top okay so that really fit across there rather nicely so that's good we've got that measurement right at last so coven on top, all starting to look like a building. So now we need to move on to the little side building that goes on and the decking kind of part that's off the top where the window and the door is so that when you climb up the stairs that's where you stand on. So let's get on with that. Okay, so to do this little piece of floor, I've, I've got a piece of card here and I want to stick this onto the card. Um, right where the lines are so I can start on this side stick it down let that dry then put some glue on the other side and then wrap the whole thing round it should fit all the way around and and look okay <laughs> we'll see uh, let's go I'm just gonna just fold along this line with my thumb to help it when it does go around to sit on the edge of the card so it should 
wrap them all the way around and then the edge go along here. I'm hoping that that's the way that it's going to work. Just letting that dry first before I give that an attempt. I'm going to sit this on its side and I'm going to um, place this there, hopefully. And this uh, piece of digging is going to go there, just underneath like that. And then the stairs will come from there downwards. Um, yeah, so far so good. Okay, so that's now drying. So I'm now going to um, make up my chimney pot. So that's my next step to cut out. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so what I did forget again is to make a little chimney top. So I'm now gonna have to cut a piece of card out for that just for now, but I will have to put that on the kit. And then I can drop that on the top, put that one on top, and then make myself a chimney pot. I think one will be sufficient. I made two, but I don't really know why. I only needed a small chimney pot. Chimney pot. Chimney, chimney, chimney. Whatever you call it. <laughs> so, right, let's right, get so on. Now I've made the chimney. I've realised that I don't want it to be there on top. I actually want it to be down there on the side. Um, because that's where it should be. So I've made yet another mistake. So um, I am now going to put that right too. Okay, so I think a little bit more work really on the chimney pot. Um, I've put it there at the moment like that, but it could do with being a little bit bigger, I think. Um, but anyway, never mind. That was another mistake. The next mistake that I've made is, is that my steps are not quite tall enough. <laughs> that's where they go. And also I'll need to make some kind of little uh, railings that will go along the side here or wall or something or other so that obviously when people do climb up the steps to get into the signal box they don't fall off the edge uh, so there we are that, that needs to be done too so there's two more mistakes so I said I'd put mistakes in while I was building this thing and that's the trouble with um, designing these things is there's always a zillion things you forget uh, and with me especially also, what I think I need to do is design some, um, like my other kits, some little bits and pieces to go along the side. It's going to look like guttering. Uh, that's another thing that I didn't do and I forgot, so that needs to go on the kit too. But that's the general idea anyway. So once these steps are done and they're painted and there's some railings along the side, I will then have a... Whoops, I have camera shot there. I will then have a signal box. So I need to go away and do a few more bits and pieces to finish it off. Okay, so I've been on my 3D printer and printed out another little piece to go in here. So all I need to do now is to just stick it in place and um, I should be pretty close to done. It's a still a little bit wet, but anyway. Okay, so this is a prototype, but this is how it's finished and uh, it's not too bad. So um, I do need to do a little bit of um, tidying up with certain bits and pieces but however it's finished it's done and there's the steps and the side and the door everything sorted and done there's all the uh, levers and everything that you can see through the window um, could have done a better job with with that but I've now put that right on my design so um, another thing I could have done was put a little bit of brown um, felt tip on the corners or I can get some uh, <coughs> extra bits in the kit that can go around of brick and that so it kind of doesn't look so much of the edge but other than that you know it's looking all right and that's going to do me for my other signal box that I want I'm still going to use this one a little bit of black around the chimney to make it on the inside to make it look a little bit more like it's been working so I'll just do okay, so that's it there it is it's sitting there whereabouts it's going to be Nice little church behind there, and here's a little train station that goes with it, which just need to sort out a sign for the train station as well, but I have the sign now on my little signal box. So um, yeah, created a nice new signal box for myself. Great fun making up your own little models. Uh, that's pretty much all there is for this video, so thanks very much for watching. Um, Sorry if it's a little bit boring, but uh, that's all I'm doing to the to at the moment as I thought I'd have a lot more time to do things, but it seems like I've been doing plenty of other stuff that needed doing around the house and, and stuff that I've been putting off for years. So, um, yeah, until the next time, I'll see you all soon. Keep on a trashing.
take on a load.